Good evening and thanks for joining us. It has now been one month since the first COVID-19 vaccinations got underway. The federal government says it is making good progress on buying vaccines. Millions of doses have been ordered. Hundreds of thousands have been delivered. But getting them into the arms of Canadians is slow going. According to the University of Toronto's vaccine tracker, as of the last night, roughly 420,000 doses had been administered. That works out to just over 1% of the Canadian population. It is up to the provinces to administer them, and some premiers say they don't have enough doses. Some regions are now delaying giving the required second dose so they can get the first shot into as many people as possible. Abigail Beeman has our top story on the push to pick up the pace called the ramp-up phase. The ramp-up phase, phase two for vaccination in Canada. It's anticipated to average more than a million doses a week for both currently approved vaccines starting in April. But right now in the much slower phase one, some provinces are critical of the rollout as they run out, even with more doses coming in. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney putting it bluntly, we need more shipments of vaccines now. We're relying on the federal government to do its uh, best to make sure that we have uh, product here, that scarcity is still a challenge. And again, I'm not, I'm not throwing any rocks here. Both things can be true. There may be a modest supply of vaccine and vaccine not moving quickly enough. Going, that, that's going out. And with the modest supply, Quebec has been under fire for not committing to the second dose timeline recommended by the manufacturers. 21 days for Pfizer-BioNTech, 28 for Moderna. Thursday, the province made a new promise. Our expert recommend that the second dose of the vaccine be given between 42 and 90 days. In our context, this is the best strategy because we have to deal with very few vaccines. Recognizing supply challenges, the National Advisory Committee on Immunization has updated its timeline guidelines, but not suggesting as big a window as Quebec. Preferably within 42 days. But I would like to emphasize that NACI's core recommendation is that the complete two-dose vaccination series follow the authorized schedules. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine only needs one dose, and this week the company said it's on track to roll it out by March. But no word yet from Ottawa about how close regulators are to approving it or the AstraZeneca vaccine. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.